Hello everyone, it's Yvonne here from the Aussie Goddess to do your weekly reading. This is for the 5th to the 11th of January and will be for the sign of Sagittarius. Okay, Sagittarius, thank you so much for subscribing to my channel. I continue to enjoy the journey. Um, please remember though, that these readings are only general. They're not meant to resonate with everyone that watches them. So if you're watching and it doesn't feel like you're reading, move on and find another reader or another reading that resonates for you. Um, I am using the Tarot Mucha. Please excuse the echo in the room. I've got very little furniture left in this room. I've only got what I need for the next few days. Oh, some of you got some sort of court case coming through here. Um, some sort of resolution, something that's about to take shape. Um, it could be karma rushing in very quickly or judgment rushing in very quickly, but something here is about to take shape. Okay, so if you're waiting for a settlement for a divorce, there's about to be communication on that and your cards are very lively. Oh, something that you've worked really, really hard at not giving up on. Can I say to you, you stood your ground on this here. I'm going to give them a bit more of a shuffle because they keep jumping out at me, so... I want to make sure I shuffle them back in so if they need to come out, they can. And still, something happening quickly, I just said. And look at that, Eight of Wands. Okay, something being resolved in your favour. Something that you've stuck by your guns on. You have not let up. You stood your ground here. Let's see what it is. Yeah, see, the card comes out again. If you mix it in and do all that shuffling and it comes back out, you know that it's meant to. This is about you working hard at something. You are not giving up here. Look at you. You're, you know, nose to the grindstone here. You're letting everything, ignoring everything else to put some work into something here. Something you're very, very passionate and driven at. You're looking towards the future. So maybe you're saving to put your money together. Maybe you're saving to um, get your resources together. But this is real hard work here, trying to get to this position. You're waiting for your ships to come in. You want to close something out. You want to say goodbye to something here. Um, you want to close out this cycle. Something is not pleasing you because you want to have victory. Very, very nice, Sagittarius, for your little mini read. Something you've worked really hard on here or could be working hard on to have a result here. Uh, something that's going to come in for you and give you some victory. Possibly something from your past here or related to your past because we do have the Five of Cups. And the Five of Cups is a card that talks about moving forward here um, and not focusing on what you've left behind. So it's having a new start, trying to focus on what's in front of you, not looking back at what's gone. There we go, another card that flipped out that's come back out again. So this is you standing your ground, being defensive, not allowing anyone to change your mind here. This is about knowing what you want and going for it, standing firm. Moving away from something here with this Six of Swords. So something you're saying goodbye to and moving away from because you realise that you have everything you need. You do not need to stay where you are. You can move forward. So obviously a lot of healing has already been done here. So some of you are now to the point where you're ready to make a brand new start after closing something out. Now for some of you this is a relationship and it's about to be settled and that whole feeling of settlement for you means that you can leave it behind and get on your way. Um, you have no regrets here whatsoever. You stood your ground and you've made sure that you're getting back what you want and you're sailing into the future without any regret of the past here. Okay, so there was some sort of heartbreak in your past here with the Three of Swords. So could be that you had a relationship that broke down due to a third person. We're not talking third party here. We're talking about someone else's involvement in this. Okay, Queen of Wands coming in here. So you are understanding your value. You are understanding your direction. And you're ready to take a brand new path here. Knowing that you have everything you want here with this magician. But I can say to you, your strength of character 
here with this Queen of Wands is coming through very, very strongly in these cards. The Queen of Wands is representing you at the moment, your leadership, your ability to pick up, your ability to move forward is all very, very evident in this reading. So no matter what's happened, no matter what happened in the past, even if your heart was broken, you've done the healing you need to do and you're moving forward with this beautiful sense of purpose here, knowing that you have this magician energy, knowing you can manifest the life you want here and leaving behind what's hurt in the past. Okay, so you could be dealing with a Scorpio. We do have the death card here. So you are definitely going through or have been through and it feels to me like if you're not going through this at the present time, you've been through some sort of transformation here because what we have here is this energy that you have completely healed um, not that you can completely heal, that's probably not the right, because I don't think we ever completely heal. But what I want to say to you is that you've healed enough now that you are ready to move into the future. So you have got yourself to a point where the hurt is no longer bearing down on you. Okay, and we have this beautiful Knight of Cups coming in here. So, oh, oh how funny. Okay, so if you're dealing with a Gemini, I think it was, the Devil card came out in the same place. So just check that out. You've, some of you have walked away from a relationship that was very toxic. Um, some of you have walked away after investing a lot of time and energy in something that wasn't giving back. This transformation has helped you to see your own value here, your self-love. Um, because now you're moving towards the future and you're able to leave this devil energy, this bondage, bondage. Uh, every time I say that, I think it sounds like S&M. Um, this bondage or this bondage to a past situation. Um, if that's codependency for you, if you were with someone who had very narcissistic tendencies, you are now able to walk away from that person and move towards the future. Some of you, this was quite toxic. I feel that you may have been dealing with someone was very egotistical, but you're definitely moving to better times here. Sorry, Sagittarius, not sure off your, off your pedestal there. Definitely walking towards better times, though. You have found your own self-love here, but as I said, you know, the fact that the Queen of Wands is coming up right in the middle between the broken heart and the... Um, oh, two cards have come out here. Um, the broken heart and the two of wands I feel that you've healed so well with this magician here it's like perhaps you're feeling better than what you've ever done before so this is very interesting so you've got poised and to be fair now last time I think the cards kept coming out in twos and it, it, it's not happened before so obviously it's relevant so the card of poised has come out first which is 48 so I'm going to have a quick look at that first um, this is about being ready, <laughs> bringing something to light, and being at your best and confidence, which is exactly what I feel here. You can be assured that you're ready for anything right now. That's why you have the magician in this reading. You know what you need to. Your skills are sharp. You've come to this place armed with wisdom and knowledge and you sense a new phase of your life about to begin. People respond to your confidence and trust you. This is an auspicious time to begin new things. Beautiful. And the other card we have is to be fair, 38. So I'm going to have a look at that too because I think it's obviously relevant seeing as it wanted to come out. Okay, so this is about balance, justice, a need to consider options, mutual benefit and the law of cause and effect. So it says life offers experiences that are challenges and experiences that are nourishing. Yet over time they strike a balance. You move from being from stasis to doing, from discovering to loving to letting go to being again. Life is a pendulum swinging between all of these states and you will always oscillate back and forth between doing and being. If you are not content with where you are at this moment, remember that all experiences have their place. Accept them without judgment and you will see how the universe adjusts in perfect balance. You reap what you sow. For every cause there is an effect. Wondrous things will be revealed now. So maybe some of you right in the middle of this. And I want to say to you, if this is actually happening for you at the moment, you are definitely heading in a much better direction. Thanks, Sagittarius.